Morning, we are going into wig cap dancing. You have been warned. All right, now that that's over, I have my foundation already done, so we're gonna go straight into contouring. I'm taking a very dark foundation that's way darker than my skin because I am pale as F, and I'm going to be contouring the heck out of my face because Hannah has really nice bone structure that I do not have and I'm not as dark as her so I'm gonna be darkening up my face as much as I can with this contour and making everything super sharp so here's me blending out my contouring with a big kabuki brush and you can see Hannah's face is very narrow and that's what I'm trying to mimic through my contouring I should make my nose slimmer, but I did not in this tutorial, I'm sorry. I'm a horrible cosplayer, I know, I know, I know. Alright, so I'm going to be bronzing my face now because contouring was not enough and I need more bronzing. I will also be doing the eye in this tutorial, but not just yet, and yeah, that's just pretty much everything. And more kabuki brushing, yay. All right, and I did contour my nose. It just didn't show that well in the tutorial. All right, now I'm gonna be highlighting with concealer because I do not own a highlight, but concealer works just as well, if not better. So I'm using my Rebel London concealer, and I'm just gonna be putting that on my face, on my highlights, and then blending it in with my finger. <laughs> Now I will be setting my highlight with a light powder. I'm using my Ben Nye powder because it's my favorite and it's in the shade light. Instead of blocking out my eyebrows, I'm just going to be putting some white grease paint, which is the NYX white stick in milk, so then I don't have to completely block out my eyebrows, and I can just go right over them because my eyebrows are thin enough for Hannah. And then you're just going to fill them in with eyeshadow, so I'm using a purple eyeshadow from the Dare to Dream palette from Walgreens, which they do not have anymore, but it is one of my favorite palettes that I have that I bought for like 10 bucks. Awesome. If you're just doing the glamorous part, I'm going to start by putting purple all over my eyelid. You could totally go for a natural look and just use natural shadows, but I like to go for more of a dark, mysterious look. So I'm going to be putting purple all over my eyelid, and then I put in a gray-black in the crease to make the whole look altogether darker. Then lining my waterline with a cool pencil, and then I will proceed to line my eyes with a liquid liner because liquid liner is my life. The liquid liner, I will continue it a little bit in my eye drop area to elongate my eye even further to get that evil venomous look. put mascara on my lashes to make them long and luscious and pretty and then I'm going to proceed to do my liquid latex now yay so we're gonna be putting the liquid latex right under the bags of our eyes cuz that's around the area where there will be a wound and then I'm putting cotton on top of that to make the wound look realistic and it's from the first scene in the second season very gruesome and dark I'm sorry 
Um, but then after you put the cotton down, you'll cover it again with liquid latex to make it all stick and set together. Sorry that there's a mirror in like half of my shots. Get out of my shot, mirror. Get out of my shot. Now I'm going to be doing my lips while the liquid latex is drying. I'm using this dark purple one because it is all I own right now. But the best one would be this purpley color from NYX. It's called Purple Rain. I think they still sell it. And this is kind of the lip color that is supposed to be achieved. I recently just got it, but when I was making this tutorial, this was the only purple lipstick I had, so I just ran with it. <laughs> While the liquid latex is drying, I'm going to be darkening up my eyes to get ready for the wound part of it by using black colors and red colors. You could also use body paint or grease paint, but I like to use eyeshadow because it's safe to use around the eyes, so I'm using black and red to make my eye look deep and dark like it was getting jabbed out. So yeah, I recommend using like a q-tip for this and not your brushes because... Yeah, and then I'm going to be lining my eye with a black pencil, so you cannot see my waterline at all. Alright, yay, the liquid latex is dry. If you want to make the latex dry and go faster, you can definitely use a hair dryer. So I am going to be darkening the bottom part of my eye with browns and blacks and reds. And then I'm going to be making the liquid latex part darker before I put my foundation on because then it will look closer to your actual skin tone than I'm putting on my foundation. Yay! If you're doing some bruising, you will use purples, blues, gr dark grays, and later on in the tutorial, I decided to add red at the very bottom to create irritation. I just darkened up the wound part with some very light gray eyeshadow, but the lighting was making it look like I was just putting a regular powder, but it is darkened up. And then I'm putting the red to on the center of my eye to create more depth, and then also along the wound part to make it more irritated, and then lower behind the bruises um, to get them more irritation because your skin will be irritated, especially after you get stabbed in the eye, if I would know that. <laughs> okay, now I put the blood on in this part, but I should have put the lashes on first. But you could use um, regular dripping vampire blood like I am, or you could use scab blood or anything your little heart desires. For this tutorial, mirror get out of the shot! Dang it. Um, sorry about there's so many mirror shots, I'm still trying to figure out my camera angles apparently. Okay, I'm putting on my lashes. I'm using the Ardell Double Stack Lashes, I believe they're called, or Double Up Lashes. Um, and I should have put these on before the blood, but I was stupid and didn't. But these are the lashes I use for my Hannah because it gives it a really dramatic and fun look, in my opinion. So this is the completed Hannah look. I've done a couple different things. Um, I have a hat. I found my hat, um, but I kind of like the flower crown look, so I actually created a second look I could do with this for just the hairstyling portion of it. I'm still keeping it in the braid because my, again, Amazon wig. You know my story on that. Yeah. But um, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to show you what the crown looks like on because I actually have never cosplayed it with the crown yet because I recently just made it. So I'm going to put that on so you guys can see, and you guys can give me the opinion. Do you like the hat? Do you like no hat? Do you like the crown better? Let me know in the comments below. Yay! So this is the crown I've made. It has a little spider on it because my darling Claude has to be on there. We are at the spider household, of course. And so I got dark flowers all around it. I think it's really cute and something different for Hannah. 
I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments below what you think of the crown. I really like it, so I'm probably going to end up wearing it. Um, I just think it's something really different to wear for Hannah. I think it's really unique, something nobody's really done a lot. So that's why I have this on my head right now. Um, and I don't have, I didn't have it in the video because I was borrowing somebody else's flower crown for that. So yeah, that is the complete look for Hannah. Um, I have to make adjustments to her, my cosplay for it because it's really big in my stomach now because I've lost weight in my waist. So um, I have to make adjustments to it, but overall I love the costume. I love cosplaying as her so, so, so much. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button right down there, because it really helps my channel out, so I can make these really awesome creative videos for you guys. I'm going to be doing my next video tomorrow, of course, as it's part of the series. Um, don't forget to check out last, my last video, I don't know what corner it's in, just click in one of the corners. It's gonna be in one of the corners, okay? <laughs> the videos will be in one of the corners. I don't know which ones. Check out my social media as always to get behind the scenes and looks at what I'm doing into my daily life and my daily cosplays. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Boom.